Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa has ratified and issued the constitutional amendment for the year 2017 after it was endorsed by the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The amendment stipulated the replacement of Clause B of Article 105 of the Kingdom of Bahrain's constitution with the following text. The law governs the military judiciary and defines its jurisdictions for Bahrain Defense Force, the National Guard and the Public Security Forces. The amendment becomes effective from the date of its publication in the official gazette. His Rohan is the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, received today at Libya Palace. His Rohan is the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses affirmed the importance of enhancing Arab cooperation, especially between the countries that have a strategic depth and a political and economic impact on the regional and international levels. They highlighted the importance of the initiatives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa that support and enhance Arab relations and cooperation. The Royal Highnesses also discussed topics regarding local affairs and stressed that all the laws and legislations are to the benefit of the people of Bahrain. They stressed the importance of strengthening the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, improve legislation and implement the government's initiatives in order to achieve further progress for the country and provide high living standards for its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid al-Khalifa at Glibia Palace. His Royal Highness hailed the results of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa's visit to the Republic of Egypt and the fruitful talks he held with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and their role in enhancing coordination and Arab consultation. His Royal Highness also commended the results of the 28th Arab Summit held in the Kingdom of Jordan, in which His Majesty the King chaired the Bahraini delegation praising its decisions and outcomes in supporting Arab causes, achieving the goals and aspirations of Arab countries and their people, and enhancing cooperation and joint Arab action. His Royal Highness highlighted the high level of the participation in the summit and the bilateral meetings, including His Majesty the King's meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of comprehensive strategies in the Gulf system that support water resources in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, lauding the role of the events held for that purpose, including the 12th Gulf Water Water Conference held recently in the Kingdom. He urged to create legislations that encourage investment in the real estate sector, motivate real estate developers and preserve the rights of investors
investors and contributors. He also urged to amend the current real estate development law through issuing real estate organizational law, which will replace the current law. He assigned the concerned bodies to adopt the procedures that speed up the implementation of judicial provisions and to develop the claims management system in order to prevent delay in the implementation of provisions. And he assigned the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to coordinate with the Supreme Council for Justice regarding that. His Rohanis instructed the Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning to find urgent solutions for all service problems in Halad Bumahar and Malkia Village to develop the infrastructure and to follow up on the needs of the two areas. His Rohanis directed to reconsider the speed limits on main streets and by streets and to amend them to make them suitable with traffic movement, meet safety requirements and decrease the number of traffic violations while at the same time apply the law on violators. He also directed to increase the number of traffic awareness campaigns that aid in the adherence to traffic laws, assigning the Ministry Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure to coordinate with the Supreme Council for Traffic in that regard. According to the constitutional amendments ratified by His Majesty the King, the Council approved the amendment of some provisions of military judiciary. The Council approved authorizing Bahrain Institute for Pearls and Gems to test pearls and gems instead of Bahrain Gem and Pearl Testing Laboratory. It also approved the transfer of the current lab assets to the Institute. The Council reviewed the labor market indicators of the fourth quarter of 2016, which marked an increase of 8.5% in the total employment compared to the same period last year. The meeting covered three memorandum of understanding between Bahrain and the Philippines the first on forming a joint hire committee between the two countries, the second on civil services, and the third between the Diplomatic Institute of Bahrain and the Foreign Services Institute of the Philippines. The Council also approved air services agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Finland. The meeting outcomes included the approval of the Representative Council's proposals on adhering to the regulations and conditions regarding public parking lots for car rental companies. His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the Malaysian Minister of Defence Waib Dato Seri Hishamuddin at Gdebia Palace. His Royal highlighted the steady growth of defence collaboration between the Kingdom and Asian countries, stressing that bolstering strategic cooperation will be central to addressing regional and global security issues. He noted that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain continues to expand collaborative ties with Malaysia, developing shared opportunities and partnership across trade aid, development and security. His Rohanis and highlighted that the exchange of bilateral visits is an important contributor to advancing relations between the two countries, helping to support collaboration on a range of subjects of mutual interest. The meeting included discussions on a number of regional and international issues in addition to exploring potential opportunities for advancing bilateral cooperation. Bahrain's Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, also attended the meeting. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a symposium on the National Health Insurance Program Sahati today at Beit Tijar, organized by the Health and Medical Services Sector Committee. More on this with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. A symposium about the National Health Insurance Scheme was organized by the Health and Medical Services Sector Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry with a group of influential health sector panelists expressing their keenness and raising the awareness of the public and business community. President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al-Khalifa delivered a presentation and shared detailed information about the National Health Insurance Scheme, its implementation process and expected outcomes. The project is very complicated and have so many aspects in it and the most important thing actually is to complete or to finalize the law and the law actually the cornerstone of the uh, of the project and uh, when we finish it for, with the uh, with the parliament and of course the Shura Council and uh, then I think that's going to be everything that can uh, begin rolling on. Private insurance companies and health insurance funds will be widely impacted. That's why their full awareness was crucial, as according to the new scheme, beneficiaries will not only be able to select suitable packages according to their needs and preferences, but also favorable health insurance providers. It's been negotiated and talked with the insurance companies, but has not been highlighted to the private sector clinics, hospitals, pharmaceutical. So the objective of the Chamber of Commerce is to involve these private sectors people by presenting this system of national insurance by the Supreme Council. So we made the link between the two and we asked them to raise their concern about the system.
The scheme aims to provide quality health services to the citizens and also the residents in Bahrain. In translation to Bahrain's 2030 vision, focusing on fairness, sustainability and competitiveness. Indeed, there are many changes, you know, not only to the uh, nationals, but even to the uh, expats. So uh, we try to explain those changes uh, today uh, to the gathering. And indeed, uh, the, the law, once it comes out, it will only not only impact the public, but only uh, it will uh, even impact the providers uh, of healthcare, meaning hospitals, clinics, and so on and so forth, and, and the buyers. Nevertheless, new regulations are also introduced ensuring premium safety and excellent quality of services. The National Health Regulatory Authority will be part of the new health insurance system working very closely with the Supreme Health Council because we will be playing the role of the regulator, making sure that the health services provided and contracted with the fund are safe and trusted. That's why we are currently implementing the National Health Accreditation Program that will look and evaluate at the quality of services and whether they are safe for the patient or not. And accordingly, we'll be grading the hospitals into categories according to their quality performance. The symposium included healthy discussions between the panel and attendees, including stakeholders and media, aiming for continuous enhancements, raising the level of health services to its highest measures. The health and medical services sector continues its keen development and enhancement of its services. A seminar is held today about the National Health Insurance Scheme program, stressing on its purpose, advanced quality services and financial impact. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghafoor. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shog Mohammed. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,347.82 points, marking an increase of 1.74 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 41% of total shares. 75 transactions included 3,030,603 shares, with 759,540 Bahraini dinars.